Hey guys, so in this video I wanted to talk about a helpful bench cue that I have found really makes a massive difference in anybody's bench technique. And this cue is going to be the cue of breaking at the elbows first rather than over tucking. And I wrote an article about this on my website, but I figured that I would have a instructional video as well for my YouTube channel for people that are more visual, uh, since this does help people understand a little bit better. Um, so the main reason why we want to think about breaking at our elbows instead of uh, tucking our elbows first is because from a biomechanical perspective, we want our joints to be stacked. That's where it is strongest at the joint angle. It's similar to a similar deadlift, how when you have your um, feet spread out wide, you want to keep your tibia stacked parallel to your femur. So that's essentially the same thing we're doing here. Um, if you do tuck your elbows first, you're going to have a few things happen. You're going to lose, you're going to have too low of a touch point on your chest. Um, that's going to also, your elbows are also going to be in front of your shoulder. And if you do this first, you can kind of just see if my elbows are in front of my shoulder, well, the automatic is going to put a lot more stress on my elbow joint, and that's going to put a lot more stress on my anterior deltoid. And anyway, and your body is smart too. If you look at how your, your elbows go when you push press back up in the bench, your elbows automatically end up underneath the barbell anyways because your body is pretty smart and knows exactly how to produce force. So I'm just going to demonstrate with the empty barbell, essentially how to do that, um, and to show you like how it looks differently. So obviously we're going to set up the exact same way that we would on any bench press. Make sure so your joints are stacked. So this is going to be the wrong way. This is going to be me tucking my elbows first, and we're going to see that my elbows will be in front of my anterior double. If I can even see that right there. That's kind of tucking. You can see that as I press up, my elbows automatically go back underneath the barbell when I am pressing back up. And that's not exactly what we want because you can kind of see that that moment arm becomes lengthened and it's going to, you know, it'll help your chest move a little bit more. So it might feel a little bit easier off of your chest once you get to lockout, it's a lot harder. Um, also, it's easier to lose tightness in the barbell. Um, you want to think about squeezing the barbell as hard as you possibly can. If your elbows are in front, you kind of lose that tightness in your, in your upper body. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys what tucking your elbows is essentially going to, to, to do. So again, get in the normal bench setup, normal bench grip. If I'm going to be breaking out my elbows first, I'm going to think about doing this do this. You can see how my elbows are slightly tucked, but it's not full like that. My elbow is not putting touch and tons of tension on my wrists as opposed well to this or my front delts. If you do it like this, I can feel everything moving together much better. And the barbell bar path is much more straight up and down or in a diagonal shape going back up towards my face. Um, also, I can press my, my, my chest up higher into the barbell better. That's going to effectively reduce your range of motion a little bit, which is good for power level loser. Also, it's going to help protect that shoulder more, which you're going to be able to get more shoulder retraction and depression. Just to demonstrate that again, if I am going like this, I'm breaking my elbows first, I'm able to keep my chest much higher, keep much more of that upper body tension. Going like this, I lose some of that tension, my chest kind of collapses a little, a little bit, and then I get some more elbow pain immediately. So think about pressing your chest up into the barbell, breaking out those elbows first, might even come down underneath the barbell, keeping them stacked, and pressing back and up over your face, while squeezing the bar as hard as you possibly can. So hopefully this comments was helpful.
Um, I would su suggest just trying this out with a way that you can do comfortably for like sets of five first, um, see how that helps. Um, and uh, I mean, I found that, you know, it might take a little few sessions, but as you keep practicing, you're going to get even better at it. It's going to kind of become second nature. Um, and you'll be able to press a lot more weight in a much more safe manner without as much elbow or shoulder pain. Uh, and that's going to just lead to long -term, better long-term progress because if we can lift safer, be stronger in certain positions, we're going to be better, stronger lifters. We're going to lift for life. So that was the video. Uh, break, out the, break out those elbows first, y'all. So if you guys still like the video, please make sure to like, please comment, make sure to subscribe, uh, and then follow me on Instagram and coaching programs. You can down the, in the description below. So talk to you guys later. Peace.